I'm going to show you real quick how you can add your own function buttons to your user dashboard. First thing I'm going to do is right click within the dashboard and click configure dashboard. And then I'm going to add another widget. So I've got three widgets now, the two that I already had configured. And I'm going to select my third widget to be uh, function buttons. And this now will give me some options as to what buttons I can add within this group. I'm going to right click on this widget itself now and configure the widget. I'm going to add, let's do three buttons. And the first button, I will click change. And now you get a list of options for what the button's going to do when you press it and what the button's going to do when you release it. For an awful lot of these buttons, we're only going to configure an option for pressed. So for this first button, I'll set this up as a spindle break. And I can scroll through and find what I'm looking for. I can also click up here and search spindle break. I'll make it a toggle so each time I click the button it changes the state. For my second button I'm going to set this up as a go to position. Um, we'll scroll down and show you that. So I'll set it up as a selection so I can then choose what go to position I want to use. And then for the third button I'm going to leave it empty and I'll assign an MDI command to it in a second here. I click save and now I have a button on the screen on my user dashboard that makes the spindle break readily accessible to me on a daily basis. And then I also have go to positions that launches a selection of where I would like to send the machine. So I can send it to machine zero. The machine's going to jog up and away to machine zero. I can send it to a pre-configured tool setter position. You can add more positions and name these whatever you want. Now for this third button that I left empty, I'm going to right click on the button itself and I'm going to configure an MDI command when this button is used. Uh, this could be any G-code styled MDI that you would like to run. I'm going to set it up for a simple spindle on at a given RPM. So then I could use this if I wanted to touch off a wiggler to my part or something. This is a very easy um, command to add. Now I can put any style of MDI that I want to use. And my spindle is now running at a given spindle speed. My override was at zero, so you're not seeing that, but I set my override to 100%. Um, there's my spindle on at the given RPM. I can then also click on any of these buttons and change the text of the button and the color of the button. So I can call this now spindle at 100 and I could change the color to be any user color that I would like to use. Just save and close. And this is now my personalized button with my label doing my MDI command with my color scheme. Thanks for watching.